Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini My Team career mode here today for part 66 for the Australian Grand Prix and round 2 of the season. This is the grid ahead of the Australian Grand Prix then it's Lando Norris who is on pole position alongside his former teammate and McLaren replacement Oscar Piastri. Then it's Lewis Hamilton who we are alongside, then it's Joe and Carlos Sainz, Sonoda and Lance Stroll, Bottas and Gasly round out the top 10, then it's Pacher and Esteban Ocon, Lawson last time's race winner and George Russell, Helga and Leclerc, Fittipaldi and Max Verstappen, then is the two horses headed by Magnussen and then on the final row is the two Williams headed by Alex Albon. We're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix and we've seem to have a much better car in qualifying trim this weekend than we did last time out in Bahrain when we qualified P12. So we're hoping for a better result today. They start and further up the order. This was our qualifying lap, so our first lap was good enough to put us on provisional pole. But we did slip back, and then at the end of the session, we only found a couple of hundredths of a second, and that wasn't enough. So we will start the race P4. It's going to be your usual one stopper, then your boring Dell one stopper, starting on the softs, going to the medium tyres to get us to the end of the Grand Prix. So here we go then, when the five lights go out, round two in Australia will be underway. We're racing here in Australia, we've got it all right start, everyone's quite even. As we head down towards turn one, we're going to try and go for the middle of Hamilton and Piastri. We've been squeezed out, Hamilton has pushed Piastri, we've gone through, we're up onto the podium briefly. Piastri is being challenged by Carlos Sainz into turn four. The home hero with knocks off the podium in the opening couple of corners. It's a British one, two, three. As we come towards the end of the opening lap of the race. Lando Norris leads from Lewis Hamilton. We've gone very, very deep for the quick chicane. And that's left us being a sitting duck to Oscar Piastri who to the inside. We try and hold it around the outside, try and do the cutback. Couldn't get the exit. Puts himself on the podium at his home Grand Prix. Still 28 laps to go. But it's looking good so far for him. Can we though retake that position? It's now further back toward the end of lap two. This is Enzo Fittipaldi's Ferrari engine giving up as the engine smokes in what was a very good race here last season for Alfa Romeo when they finished on the podium with Yuki Tsunoda. It's all gone wrong so far for them. Lap four and Lando Norris was coming under pressure by the seven time world champion Lewis Hamilton round the outside goes Lewis Hamilton on Lando Norris. Norris has to back out of it. And Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the Australian Grand Prix. Lando Norris still without a win in this career mode. And this looks to be a great chance for him as in the background, this is Carlos Sainz, our teammate, coming under pressure from the other McLaren of Joe who absolutely bottled the win last time out in Bahrain spinning on the going on to the final lap as round the outside he gets the job done on Carlos Sainz but we were told that Carlos Sainz had an issue with the car something to do with the engine as that's another big issue for Dennis Halga is his engine goes bang as now we were just staying in touch with Oscar Piastri. We couldn't really get close enough. A bit like Verstappen back in Bahrain. But we've got close enough this time to send it down the inside at turn four. Catch and napping and we're back on the podium after losing it at the end of lap one. It's taken a few extra laps but we are ahead. But now we're going to be vulnerable to Oscar Piastri as we head down the pit straight. Piastri isn't going to give up the podium lightly. He wants to finish on the podium for the home crowd. We slice him off at turn one. Bit naughty there. Lap 
12 though, we are going to be boxing at the end of this lap and this was a good thing because these soft tyres would push them to their absolute limit, you can see us here, we are all over the place, it's a bit like Tokyo Drift now, it's now on the back of us, is Piastri, Piastri now is surely going to have a chance as we run wide and he doesn't even need the DRS and he's back past us now and back up onto the podium places then and that's job done for him as science dropped back with his issue and in the background is the other McLaren was slowly eking away at us as we box at the end of the lap to make our one and only stop of the day unlike Bahrain though we don't speed in the pit lane and everything is good for the rest of the Grand Prix as long as we can get a quick pit stop we time the pit entry to all right for the turn in 2.4 seconds that will do me now can we re get past Piastri we had some pace in the middle part of that soft stint but it was really the DRS that was just keeping us in touch with him as at the end now of the next lap lap 13 into the pits comes Lewis Hamilton closely followed behind by Lando Norris Norris was the same as us with Piastri just couldn't get close enough to re-overtake him but it's been a great stop by Ferrari and they've got Lando Norris out ahead of Lewis Hamilton what a stop by Ferrari to get the McLaren, the Ferrari out ahead, their driver who lost out on the track to Lewis Hamilton has gained it back in the pits but now can he stay there, can Lando Norris hold on for his first win in Formula 1, it's been 5 seasons of this career mode and he still hasn't won a Grand Prix, Ferrari looking for their first win of the season to the outside though like it was earlier on Lando tries to fend him off but back round the outside goes Lewis Hamilton to retake the lead of the Australian Grand Prix denying Lando Norris for the second time in this Grand Prix lap 22 now and we were just on our own we didn't have the pace for the top three as we skip on now to the final lap Lando Norris couldn't get close enough to have another go at retaking the lead so it's going to be another win for Lewis Hamilton he holds on he battled Lando and he wins the Australian Grand Prix Lando Norris has to settle for second once again Oscar Piastri gets a podium at his home Grand Prix and we are going to come home for a pretty solid That's it for people. another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? Well, they managed their tyres to absolute perfection. A tyre whisperer, in fact. And that is what set them apart. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So Mercedes then back on top, they had a bit of a shaky Bahrain but they're back to their best and what a race it was, Lewis Hamilton, he had enough wins in Formula 1, he still does have enough wins in his career mode as well but he denies Lando Norris, Lando started on pole, was right behind Hamilton the entire Grand Prix, just couldn't find a way past, Ferrari did their bit 
In the stops just still wasn't enough for Lando to get his first ever Formula 1 win. Piastri gets on the podium, a good race for him. We just didn't have the pace for him on the mediums. He finished about 5 seconds up the road. We were just on our own in that second stint. P4 is our best result of the season and a very solid one as well. Carlos Sainz unfortunately finishes down in 13th. He was having a very good race in the early stages. He just had an issue with the engine that has cost him and cost us quite a lot of points in the constructors because he was in a very consistent p5 he had a big drs train behind him but he was still there two dnfs in the race as well that being enzo fittipaldi in the early stages and dennis hauger as well and alex albon being the final finisher of the day in terms of the driver's standings with that podium for oscar piastri he now leads the Drivers World Championships that win for Hamilton jumped him up into P2. Liam Lawson, after the win last time out in Bahrain, didn't score today. We are P4 with 19 points. There's still many drivers still yet to score, including our teammate Carlos Sainz, but he is top of those who have yet to score a point. In terms of the constructors, then and McLaren continue to sit top of the Constructors World Championships. Mercedes now jump up into P2, Ferrari jumping up into P3, AlphaTauri dropping down to P4, we are P5, then it's Alpine, Aston Martin, Red Bull having a shocker start to the season, then it's Alfa Romeo, Williams and Haas are still yet to get off the mark after the opening two races this season. So that's been your Australian Grand Prix then, a bit of a slow burner, a great battle for the lead between Lando Norris and Lewis Hamilton, not so much for us, we had the battle with Piastri, just couldn't really get close enough to really battle him, we were just on our own pretty much. We head though back to Europe for the first time as we head to Imola for round three of the season. I'll see you then. Goodbye.